Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Let's see if uh, indecision was cured <laughs> during the break. What do you guys want to do? Not well, friendly. we were, some of us were discussing that. I, I want to look at the contract again. Okay. For, I can show you the contract again. All right, cool. Sounds good. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I don't know what's going on here. Currently, we have most of this stuff on this contract. Aside yes. from like, all we have to do is throw in a throw throw a flag on this planet, and yeah. we have, and that's pretty much it. Other otherwise, we just have to get like artifacts, basically. Uh, yeah. You. This is actually the artifact one. It should be here. Yeah, I was about to say sample. Yes, the the data flow of the segment is definitely. It would be that would be an interesting biological sample. Just be like, yes, House of Spiretta, This is a biological sample. Here, it's a try. Well, come yeah. to think of it, uh, it's bioluminescence. That doesn't that wouldn't be anything though, right? Mm. I mean, I think it would probably be sample of the habitable world. No, probably. the sample is of the Cassini ancients themselves. So they want uh, biological samples. Because remember, or as you may or may not know, on the world that where Paul and them ran into, where Audie and his and the former crew of the ship saw them, there were sample jars of ancients oh, okay. stored in this one room, and they want other ones to like confirm it and see the differences and all that sort of thing right they were quite old and a lot of them most of them i think they were all probably bad you guys don't really know you didn't have any info from it you guys right. want to scan that newer one? Oh, we should definitely scan that newer spire that's a good idea yeah you mean the other spires the uh bio the one that's called the skin factory the skin plant skin yeah plant. Mm -hmm. yeah mm-hmm I, as a player, am intrigued by the by the calling a place the skin plant. So okay, so the problem with that is you can scan it, but you're not going to really get that sort of info. That sort of info needs, you know, like you to go down is, there is, and take samples. Is there no information on the data flow about like production numbers and like that kind of information from the skin plant? Yeah, or any other lots of that. There's lots that? of information. So information on the skin plant that you would probably download. Uh, you could do some research into that and okay. figure that out. Okay. So if we want to do something bigger, we can call it an investigation project and like do a bunch of things and we can solve some bigger questions. But you just have to have questions that it makes sense for. If it's like a one-off thing, you can just do one roll. All but right. if there's like a bunch of things you guys think you can do to discover, I don't know, where who the ancients are here what the ancients are yeah. or if they're even here or that sort of thing where any samples might be yes that's i think where any samples were they here were any samples here what the skit like how like also like they obviously have a creation like a creation slash origin story and if that includes being seated on this planet since we already got some of that information yeah uh, and well, obviously, what the hell is... The, the skin plant, I'm assuming, is producing their, like, biotech stuff, so... Yeah. yeah. That's the basic thing you know, is it creates biotech materials and such. So, unless they're getting them from somewhere else, the bioluminescent... Oh, one more question. ...lights and all that stuff probably comes from there. I mean, that's probably a interesting. Why the Empire, kind of quotation marks, hasn't expanded... Yeah. Okay. Considering they have this level of technology, I think they're probably against it. Pro sounds like it. I don't think it'd Maybe. be good for us. Sounds oh, like I'm not... they they don't want you to leave the yeah the city city. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. So the way investigation tends to work, this might not be appropriate for it because you guys have a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. So if you see on page one thirteen, talks about investigation. It's basically you investigate a particular scene. Okay. Like an investigation scene. You invest a crime scene, uh, an archaeological site, um, 
with specific questions about what's going on. Uh, court intrigue. So if there's like a court and they're doing a bunch of things, I can go over a long period of time too. But it's I, like I mean, the specific scene. This kind of fits, it, it but not, it seems a bit broad. So like well, tracing a spy or that sort of thing. It's an <laughs> anth- it's an it's an anthropological scene. Yeah. So to do so. this investigation, you can use some materials you've gathered. You could okay. land and go into different places and gain information at various points like take samples yeah. all that sort of stuff all that okay. stuff would be very appropriate for investigation at this point this sort okay. and so you're so, what you would be doing is you do a lot of other tests during that period of time as well but they wouldn't count towards it only the ones that like would provide the information and would fulfill the stations listed on page 114 of like sensor analyst researcher medical examiner interviewer right mechanic programmer astro navigator sometimes and surveillance so if you like follow groups of people down around on the planet and listen to what they're saying or uh watch see how their group dynamics work and that sort of thing so a lot of this would be a lot easier if you went to the ground so that comes to me to the main question are you landing and going to the ground and checking these individual places out and if so where are you landing Hmm. And are you creating, fabricating yourself some outfits first so you can blend in, or changing your ship suits really? So you still get your ship suit armor, but you won't have your EVA suits. Those are super obvious. Right. You're like a fucking space marines walking around. There's nobody dressed in space Mind marine that. outfits. <laughs> There's uh, no anime conventions on. It really <laughs> sucks. Damn it! Just about to say that. Mm. <laughs> we just so, make our yeah. outfits look like foam. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> And apparently their military are not space marine. Now we know. <laughs> well, their military might have it. You haven't actually seen any military yet. Yeah, I mean, with the data flow, the data flow we have, we probably have, like... Uh, they have a lot of stuff about... Uh, there is the odd... They're very rare. It's not really a lot of what you would call action films or mm, no, no war dramas films. or war. There's no war films whatsoever. None. Mm. None. Uh, there are some kind of like intrigue, almost like a cop show things that you did see. Noir type mm. thing, sort of? Less noir, more like uh, like a little bit like Law and Order kind of deals. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, they call themselves Inquisitors. And oh, they go and discover like crimes and sedition hmm. and that sort of thing right and that's all i'm going to give you without rolling more research that's on this, that's, fair. that's fair that's fair that's fair all right all so right. yeah let's decide are we going to go down there or not what do you go think for it. guys do i say not unless we need to that's fair but if we need to okay all right Okay, so do uh, we want to fabricate, like, additions and changes to your ship suits to make it so you can blend in? I think Craig says yes. And I, I think it's just a good idea in general. Like okay. Adi said, we need to. Sure. Okay, so I am going to say, because I am t- I have to tweak how the materials work, because I discovered mm-hmm. there's a little bit of a weird double downing issue. Um, if you fail... You lose one supply. If you succeed, you spend three. Okay. All right. Unless you fail really bad, and then you'll you'll lose three. <laughs> so there's the two sacrifices. A base fail zero, you lose one. Yeah. If you f- do a negative three, you spend three, and if you do a positive three, you... so. Right, right. Okay, so. Okay. You are just doing cruise co- crew cosmetics. Five milestones. And the difficulty is lower than before. It is three. Three. Okay. This is basically making outfits and making yourselves blend in. Mm-hmm. Fashion. Um, a lot of this would probably be like cloth. So material sciences. Um... People do have a certain, like, few little devices and stuff, and there are some 
you don't know a lot about it, but there is things where you see them kind of slapping doors and stuff with their hands. So they have like these bio, like uh, scanner patches thing. and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like instead of a house key, they'll have a bio patch that shows that they're like on the house and that sort of thing. Interesting. And there seems to be some sort of ID thing that you see in the Inquisitor show, where they kind of go up and they grab their hand and go, "Oh, Mister Blah Blah Blah," like they know who they are. Oh, huh, interesting. Based on that. <laughs> Right. So that's going to take some biotech. The bioengineer is going to be necessary. The me- mechanics going to be necessary. Proper information. So all of the stations, like last time, the three right. are also still any. Uh, those stations though can be other skills too. So if you look at your skill list, um, other things that make sense for it, like the mechanic stuff, other material stuff, and archaic things may be appropriate in certain situations. And I have to open the correct sheet. So like I don't, mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Field dynamics on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not very. <easy>. Astro navigation. <laughs> <laughs> like biosciences, biomechanics, and biosciences, agriculture, and biosciences, medicine could all be appropriate. Um, Couldn't it? Could mechatronics, be- material science, and astro archaic technology maybe, but no, not so much here. Could anthropology be applicable? Because we are trying to blend oh, no. into it. Archaic vehicle! No! Oh. For God. I have archaic vehicle. Oh, you <laughs> do? I do? Yeah, I have I have I, all of the pilot specializations. I've, I've had it for such a long time, and I just got rid of it. Well, You're I never going to drive when you have somebody who's, like, triple down yeah. into piloting, man. Yeah. That's not always true, though. I had a crew drop half of them off, and that one who's like, I'm a great pilot, turned out not to be a great pilot, crashed to the launch into the planet, it was a good time. (laughs) Those are the same people who uh, uh, suggested that the best way to take people out would be to drop an asteroid on them, (laughs) and then I dropped an asteroid on them. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Colony drop. But yeah, would would culture anthropology be applicable? Sure. All right. Just curious. Uh, you said archaic vehicle or archaic te- I hear Archaic technology. technology is sometimes applicable to this. I don't think it's particularly applicable right now because okay. you're dealing with biotech and right. so material science is uh, bio. Uh, all, all the biosciences. All of the bio stuff. Um, two out of three of the mechatronic stuff, and then like culture anthropology, and that's. About right, let's it. Get the rules going. And right. also inscription. Oh, inscription. I will, yes. Because you have to make ID tags. You have to code ah, up ID tags. Mm-hmm. And then right. someone Fake else IDs. has to make biotech things to basically implant the information. So you have to add that, add this stuff to the data flow. And then you've got to make a matching DNA code patch for your All right, guys. What do you want your second Great. names to be? <laughs> Go with Chris. something really exotic, Craig. Like Ted. Craig, I'll I'll do it Tank. from the, whoever Tank. whoever the main character in that that uh, drama, the detective drama is. Oh, the inqui- oh, the Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Yeah, the Inquisitor. Craig, Craig, Craig knows exactly what he wants to do. All right, Inquisitor okay. Mana. Craig. No, I, mean, no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to be an Inquisitor. <laughs> Let's do a couple Craig rolls. So right. we definitely anyway. need new clothing. So I'm going to insist yes. that somebody has to do a material sciences role. Somebody do... Somebody. Science. I can, I can do material science. Somebody. somebody mechatronics it up. I can, I can do material science. Fine. Cool. All right, cool. Show. I will burn one to get <laughs> two, because this is probably pretty important. Yes. Do it. What is the uh, threat? And the threat is three. Oh, that's it? I should put it on this side. Oh, okay. this well, you know. There we go. Three. Bad, four. Damn, Look at that. Four successes. Yeah, that that means you charge your reactor. Get that charge back. And oh. you get three out of five. Out of five. Uh, Milestones. Six. I'm, I'm putting Milestone. that down right now. Out of the successes we need in order to make this project, you are really good at making clothes. Sweet. Yes, you guys have uh, a great outfit. So the, <laughs> the next thing you definitely need, the next most important thing, you can get away without doing 
like the coding if you like the coding would just be a simple task of entering you in a database right. perhaps but you're okay. going to need the bio the scanners or do we think that the coding would be harder but the bio pads are just like you just produce them uh i'm thinking i think, I think, I think the coding pads are i think the bio pads like necessary though do you think it's which is harder which would we consider more likely to be a simple oh, task i i i think the the cr literally just creating people out of thin air is probably harder than producing <laughs> stuff what okay so you spent three supply right Adi? Mm -hmm. uh can, yeah do you want to yes. hit that for me i got it thank you and then let's code up our identities oh are we not doing the bio scanners can we do the bio scanners no because i'll if you succeed that'd be a simple right. task otherwise fair, it will not be fair enough all right so we're doing code uh we're gonna do i have no charge still <laughs> No. Uh -huh. I mean, I could do this with four dice versus three. Okay, you uh, have uh, you have their entire data flow, so I'm going to give you that's true. an advantage for that. Yes, sweet. I I have their whole internet. We could use it. <laughs> All right. Well, the thing about the internet I, is it I, I will having give it, a charge. It's searching. You'll it. give me a charge. Okay, so I can get another two advantages from Com Browser or Dev Kit. Dev Kit. Dev Kit for sure. Dev Kit. Because this right, time you're so. hacking. Yes. Oh, I'm ha Oops. Well, you're not hacking. You're dev. You're coding Code. directly. Code. Yeah. Yeah. And either way, and it's, I don't know. And it's three threat dice, so yeah. Let's do it. Zero successes. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So uh. you go into this. Uh, the system is. Uh, zero successes. Okay. So um, still doesn't make any goddamn ow. sense. I don't know. <laughs> so I had you're entering seconds. the information in, and uh, something happens. There's an alert. Oh, jeez. And uh, they're trying to backtrace Yeesh. you. No, thank you. So that you need to defend hand. yourself. Yeah. Great. From that, which is a interface. Uh, I need to open your character sheet. Where is it? Network defense. Yep. All right. Oh, boy, guys. All right. Well, at least I have something in that. I don't have any advantage, I guess. So that's going to be fun. You guys are real low on charge. Yep. I haven't gotten the success to get succeeding better charge. or something. Yeah, we are. I know. So I don't get any advantage. Even or doing desperate any... actions also works. Because but... having the entire their, their internet at my disposal does not help me against getting traced. No. So... Uh, what is the threat? Oh, what is the threat of this? What is the threat of getting discovered by these isolationist cop types? Whatever they are. Inquisitors. Inquisitor. Okay, I'm going to say it's four. Oh, jeez. Okay, great. Three against four dice. You only have three? On yeah. Your I, I thought you were supposed to be like a hacker. What the fuck, uh... Man? My, my three are in inscription, not in inner. Well, you could use, also, your hardening could add to that. Oh, you didn't take any defensive abilities at all. No, because oh I was doing cop. Because I did comp browser, and also I don't have any. Also, I don't have any charge, so I couldn't power it anyway. Yeah, I'm just. I don't. You, man. Yeah, exactly. I I'm doing this. And we're all gonna die. <laughs> One success. It's, Ooh, it's good enough. Okay. <laughs> so, you. They're backtracing. You're like, oh shit, 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 and you basically shit. shut it down. So they're you, looking you for you on their internet, on their data flow, whatever you want to call primitive. On their network, they're looking for you. Primitives. But they didn't find you. I still got a success toward the project, though. A milestone. No, no, that doesn't count. That's the encounter that happened because you failed. Well, I still get one from the failure, though. We yes, we, that we We already marked that in there. Okay, cool. I so meant you, you don't get an additional points. one from defending no, no, yourself no, 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 against no, 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 your no, no, own no. failure. That's not what I meant. That's not what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got four to five now. It's on the top of the sheet. I think you guys are on the same sheet as me, right? Cool. Yep. All right. Okay. So, Craig. Craig, you're going to need to get give them a good bio patch because they're going to need a good bio patch to pull this off. Especially now that... And... <laughs> 
the only you couldn't actually add any information, but you did find three people you could pass as. So you have enough information cool. to give Craig three real people's IDs. They're all nice. secret. They're all secret government agents. This <laughs> Kyle from Minnesota. So we could have nobody else has seen that. Still walking around. Yeah, we could Man, run these people. people. Oh, but what about Craig's secret identity? Oh, it's Craig. Craig it's doesn't there. get it's, to it's, use it's, it. it. It's an alias. <laughs> it's Craig. Alias Craig. That's a really yes. exotic name. Yeah, you know, just really into this one show from like 300 years ago. Okay. Craig, right. why don't you do some uh, biosciences so, medicine, I think? Or no, it's biomechanics. Biomechanics. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. Yeah, lots of people seem to do that. It's one of those things. Okay. Uh, so, advantage? Uh, if you want any advantage, you could use med tool or incubator. But I have no charge. You don't have any charge, so nope. And three, one. Hey, there we go. That's what we needed. Okay. Nice. And one. the one, that would actually bring you to six out of five. There we you have go. really good bio pads. Okay, so you guys are sitting there. You've basically reproduced your, uh, you took all the armor and stuff out of your, your suits. You put them back in, recycled them, and brought them back out. You spent those materials. So we spent the materials, right? Yes. We have no more materials. Uh, you guys have like one left or something? Nope. <laughs> yeah. We have. Well, we were at six after I failed. Mm -hmm. so, so you. We actually have three left. Yeah, you should yeah, have three. The, fail, the fail only took one, right? It only takes one off, yeah. You yeah. just have to keep going, basically. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, we, have, we got three of those materials. Yep. Awesome. Okay, so. You like reproduced your uh, ship suits to kind of look like their their local garb. They wear like of uh, quite a few people. You, you're probably Audi dressed in like this this kind of like dome little hat, <laughs> and um, they they seem to. There's like a lot of like uh, it's it's like very loose fitting clothing. Yeah. A variety of colors of beige seem to be popular, but um, depending on where you work and your rank, so if you're like a worker, you would be wearing like a particular color depending on which spire you're working in and such. And then if you're a uh, upper class or something, then you'd be wearing like a bright color, uh, kind of like a sashy mm -hmm. uniform. Right. piece yeah. on you and if you were inquisitors they dress in a dark gray and then they have similar kind of like sashy kind of they're like, like half coats that go over like one shoulder and down like this on a human humans are not super common they're more minor species here but on onik onik just wears like the hat and then like uh kind of like the collars in a similar way and their shell is kind of decorated with some of the, the symbols and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Septox wear like a little honey version and often the hats and stuff. The hats seem to be quite popular. They come in like several different varieties. So mm. what did you guys disguise yourselves as? We're not doing the famous actor and agent because Craig can't speak for <laughs> like, Yeah. So... Um... We're definitely not going as inquisitors because that's gonna raise well, many suspicions. We we, we yeah, got we don't know data on these guys. Do we so know? So you got what they do? you got three identities. What sort of identities would you have stolen? Uh, well, that is a better okay, question. Cool. Then people people who wouldn't be missed but have access. It's it's a case of wouldn't be missed but also would have access to like most parts of the city. So probably somebody inquisitors. Inquisitors is a thing that could happen, but stealing I imagine stealing cops' identities is a little bit difficult. Okay. Little, so you guys are dressed as so probably like librarians. Media. Yes, librarians, that works. You're you technically it, will work in the spire of the yeah. memory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spire of memory. 
and you know one of the reasons you were looking at them is librarians tend to be like information officers yeah. they manage like they do tech services at low levels so they'll go and like fix uh, lands and networks uh they broadcast the view view um they manage all the information stuff in the other spires and they tend to do some middle management like record keeping style stuff in the factories so that's probably why you were looking at it You're like i want somebody to go anywhere well that, that librarian uh yeah. spire the like like uh spire the fertility people you know are like they they have like their own names but you did find that the ones who work in the spire of memory is called librarians so yeah librarian cool so we're all librarians people Okay, so let's talk about investigation. What sort of things do you want to do? Where do you want to go? And how do you want to get there? Well, we're going to style. That's a good way of putting it. Always. Going, going to the Spy of Memory is actually probably a really good idea to, you know, see if they have any records on... Ship, park, outside city, walk. Yes, also that. Yeah. Yes, thank you for starting at the beginning there. Right? Sorry, I, I advanced to, like, what are goals? But that's fine. So uh, you're gonna, you're planning on landing outside the city, and uh, so we need you can land pretty easily. Uh, okay. The biggest thing is you're gonna want to hide the ship. Right. So you'll have to do a stealth test, and you'll have to pass it, or your ship may get found. Oh uh, no! It's Ooh. Star Trek. The Search for Spock all over again. <laughs> our, our ship is. So not, you're parking in a park. Going to keep it stealth. And We're looking and... for the nuclear vessels. The nuclear vessels. <laughs> um, I imagine the okay. ship still has charge, so it yeah. has one. That's and better using than it. That's better than all of us. Currently. So six versus what? Oh wow! Okay, versus six. two. You oh. got this. Oh, boy. two, and I'm saying you're kind of landing like in like a lake or something. These yeah. little swamps. Maybe the top of the ship is sticking out, so you can like walk off and jump off the vessel, right. and then kind of walk in. <laughs> little vessel. <laughs> oh, Z, zero point the vessel. <laughs> okay. okay. Wait. It was. It would be three if you just parked in a field, because then someone could just walk into it. You know, nope, park not it. happening. We should. We should land in a pond, a park pond. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There is quite a bit of water areas because we're talking river deltas, so there's all sorts of places. Yeah, go in the water. No you do have access to the almanac, and it's a simple task to figure out which ponds they're gonna empty and which ones they are. Wow. So you find when they're land not gonna empty. The Fuck you want. <laughs> Is that your roll? Yeah, there you I go. was expecting an overcharge from that, but okay. Yeah, seriously. Gosh, I'm kidding. That's a success, but they would have yeah. got a fucking charge because they you. <laughs> we have okay. no charge. So we you're chargeless. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we also oh, no. left. We left. We left an outfit for, for the captain. That's something we did. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. Hmm. 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 He's also a librarian. He's the head librarian, even. Is this librarian in, like, the Warhammer sense, or...? <laughs> That'd be great. I'd love it. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, we have psychic powers. <laughs> yes. Well, it seems like pretty you know awesome. that their leader is... Because you did look this up, I will give you this for free. Their leader is called the Grand Librarian. Oh, oh, oh snap! snap. <laughs> there we go. All right. This could be the wrong thing for us then. <laughs> no, we'll be we'll be we'll be fine. It'll be. What great. exactly is a librarian? Do we know that? Okay, so it's an information officer. They do all the archiving, control okay. view, view, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. What if he, somebody asks us a question? We we have answers. We have the entirety of their. Remember? You we do can, a quick can... research with your data flow, find Very the quick, answer, and tell them that. We can voo voo it. And then uh, Craig sits there and goes. Fair enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. what he said. Keep rolling on. You're trying to learn that language. We're gonna die. 
Okay, so you landed in the floodplains. <laughs> That's where your ship is parked. Mm -hmm. uh, you're in a flooded field that you know is not going to be unflooded for a good period of time. At least right. till tomorrow. Yeah, like like a month. <laughs> and uh, you're crushing the poor, poor plants. So you come. So we see you guys walk off over the water in midair on top of the ship. You see little sparkles as you touch the ground. Ooh. And then you kind of jump over and it's super hard because of the heavy gravity so the jump is really oh. shallow. But it's still a simple act. It's just like... Yeah. <laughs> and you, you see uh, diving into the water these massive massive crocodilian creatures that are like the size of hippos oh, with oh. huge mows and they're just like trolling so, along into the water around your ship and sort swimming of, uh, around we're getting that sort of, uh, uh, repellent is 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 appropriate i guess yeah croc a hippo pellant yeah so take a sample of the water is what you say uh, okay. the water wouldn't be a particularly good sample anymore you have much more complex materials than that Mm. Let's get going to the city. Right. Yes. You okay. know from a little bit that these are called Bossodilians. Bossodilians. Yep. Sounds about right to me. Because they're their boss. Yeah, exactly. And you see they're them, they're approximately, uh, what does it say? Like 19 meters in length and about what? 10 tons each. Jeez. 19 Ooh. meters in length. Yeah. Wow. Those Who wants to go get a sample? Massive. Yeah, go go get one. <laughs> yeah, you I, could get a I, sample I, then. Hey, I hear they taste just like chicken. Have fun, <laughs> not Craig. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what do we know about them through our data stream and everything? Oh yeah, what what is what what of the what is? Do you want to do a happen? research roll? I will do a research roll. You could also do a biosciences agriculture roll. What if I screw up? What, what are the consequences? Then we know nothing about them. <laughs> then you well, will know. Then I will tell you all sorts of information about them. Someone might that hack will probably me. probably be wrong. Know. And if you use that information, you'll probably get hurt. Okay. Well, what's the threat? That'll determine. How much it is two. They're common oh. agricultural animals. I'm gonna take a shot at it. Yeah. Take a chance. Take a chance. Take a chance. Research. Two. Um, okay, threat two. No, wait. Whoops. I accidentally put my advantages to. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Whoa. All right. Here. Way, way back, machine. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa there. Hold up. Now, now I want to play like a Time Watch game or something. And no. I'm going to call the spaceship the Control yeah. Z. Oh, uh, yeah. Negative. Okay, so one. don't listen to anything he says. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so I'm putting one in here. Uh, you know that they are farm animals, uh, that they are extremely dangerous, and okay. you find all these stories about children being eaten by them. Oh, sweet and um, you know that when, yeah. when they come at you, uh, the best thing to do is to play dead. <laughs> oh. That's a lie. Why do I feel like that's, that's not a true? lie? <laughs> oh, I they thought he was going to say punch him in the nose. They, also have, they also have lasers for eyes. <laughs> yeah, they have lasers mounted to the tops of their heads. Okay, Las cool. lasers for eyes and sonar. I can get behind that. All right. Okay. Cool. So we're not going to stay near these things. No, thank you. Okay, so you're in the middle of farmlands, in the middle of the floodplains, which is probably the last place most librarians are. <laughs> we were on a we were on a mission, librarian oh, mission. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> to track down ancient artifacts. Exactly. Right. Of magic. I mean, right. not that librarians. <laughs> Anyways. Um. Okay. What do you do now? Where are you guys going? I don't know. Where are we going? To the city. Uh, so you, yeah. 
you have the access to the settlement law up there. So the different regions are like the neighborhoods, the right. districts. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was, it's I I was thinking either the skin plant or we get to the spires and we start looking like in either this like probably the spire memory being like, hey, what do they know about being here and maybe potentially being seated by the ancients or something, sort. Yeah. You. Yeah. So do we want to go to the factory first, or do we want to go to the suspiciously authoritarian spires that are Factory. Just... Factory? All right, uh, let's do it. Okay, so you're heading off towards the skin plant. Okay, so you walk down, and you see uh, there are um, these little van-like vehicles. Mm -hmm. that have pulled up and they're actually uh, a creature that doesn't look too different from the weird cow hippo crocodile things you saw and they mm -hmm. have like these things on their backs they're just standing there they have huge stumpy legs so it's very different from oh. the weird creatures and uh, they're basically used as like food trucks and so people are all being fed it must oh. be like they're first meal or something you saw a whole variety of meal names it was a bit confusing 40 hour days they do a lot of meals and a lot of weird names for them Ooh, right. um and they're currently having one of those meals so they're getting uh these bowls of something kind of looks a bit like rice with stuff on it mm. hmm. delicious yeah so they're all they're eating these and they have these spoons and so people are eating and other people are in line and mm -hmm. uh, there's just roads, and there's like no vehicles on the roads at all. Huh. Hmm. Or no or cow drag driven, genetically engineered creature vehicles, whatever. There's yeah. no sort of traffic. There's just this one vehicle sitting here feeding people. Okay, weird. Are you guys just gonna walk towards the skin plant then? Uh, can we catch a ride because we're librarians? I don't want to interact with anybody. Or if that's fair, to. then let's then let's let's have a leisurely walk to the factory. Okay, so the yeah. factory is on the other side of the two uh, districts. Yeah. From the floodplains, mm -hmm. so you have the floodplains, and then nearby the floodplains is the Craven District and the yeah. Chosen yeah. District. Uh, they're kind of next to each other. In between them is uh, the both markets, which are kind of connected to one another. So it's right. kind of like floodplains. They go around with this area of the floodplains you're on. It's like mm -hmm. here, and then if you walk in, you'll go through either the Craven or Chosen District, and then be able to, and in between, kind of popping into the middle of them, like a donut hole, is the day and night <laughs> markets. And then on the other side of those two is the skin plant. Cool. All right. All right. If we want to interact with as few people as possible, I would say probably go through the chosen district probably. and then have to go through one of the markets because we have to to get the skin plant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. So you guys kind of you you walk. It takes. It is a. It is a. Is it is it warm? I forget. What's this planet side this here? Okay. The what? I'm trying to remember the temperature. Oh. Oh yeah. It is Roll it is a bit it. warm. It's like uh currently it's like sixteen degrees. Ooh. Currently. Celsius. Celsius. Yeah. Whatever that is in crazy American <laughs> units, I don't know. Um, in freedom units. In uh, freedom <laughs> units. <laughs> YouTube Fahrenheit educate it's actually not stupid. It is kind of silly. Come on. You'd think, but if you know the history behind it, it's fine. I know the history behind it. It's silly. Okay. I, it's I know the history behind the foot measurement, and that's pretty dang silly to me. Yeah. No, no, they it's just like... based Fahrenheit on a different zero point. Yeah. Which was kind of an odd one to do 16... it on. Yeah, but 16... why did they do that, though? I, I can't remember at the moment. 16C uh, yeah. is like... Uh... Oh, this is such a stickler point. Okay, well, when it's, it it's not that important. I, we, we know. It's it's warm enough. <laughs> it is 60 degrees. It's 60. Okay, I thought it was like 50s or something. Yeah, it's 
That's a spring still, day. I mean, it's, it's day. relatively really? chilly. That's chilly, kind of. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure Craig is freezing. Hmm. Yeah. There's like a, a nine degree mm -hmm. differential, so it's quite. It, it will get warmer today. Um. Okay. Our desert. But the average yeah. world's Your temperature, temperature is, is around 16 degrees. Hmm. Room temperature is like 68, 69. Yeah. yeah. So it will get up to maybe 70 degrees, maybe. Because it is kind of like summer and you're close to the equator. So. Hmm. Pretty cold planet in general. Hmm. Yeah. That's optimal temperature area. Oh, there we go. Anyway. <laughs> Yay. Walk, so it's kind of warm because there's very little cover. Because you're basically in rice fields. Hmm. Except the thing they're growing looks a little more like a cross between saffron and rice. But I digress. Um, <laughs> there's like fern bushes along a bit and they give a little bit of shade. So you kind of you trudge along for at high gravity a while. Like in three yeah. hours. And s soon you, yeah, and you see you're getting closer and closer to what looks like a, a large um, kind of residential area filled with uh, a variety of non-local plants like they're not <laughs> ferns hmm. they're um they're like these kind of uh crystal hmm. bushes or something didn't we see crystal bushes before yeah you I think so you saw cactuses but they have these like cactuses. crystal bushes which i think you might have seen if you flew over the mountains but, yeah, I thought we um, saw. Yeah, I thought you mentioned we, that. Yeah, because we had done it at one point because we were getting away from. Yeah. Yeah. So you see these like, really weird looking like, they basically look like this crystal samples in like a video game or something. They big, big long spire up there and then branches off around the bottom, and they're just yeah. kind of lined up there. And then there's like ferns around them, a variety of ferns, and they look like a kind of softer species of fern than you saw in the jungle. Right. Yeah. So okay. it's like the ferns, but then they put these ornamental imported crystal trees in huh. that they got from the mountains, probably. That's cool. And oh. so you see these, and the houses on each side are like, uh, let me double check what I wrote down. Okay. But they are pretty much uh, like townhouses. So they're all connected together, and they, they're, like, out of, like, terracotta kind of material. Looks like terracotta. Like, that kind of colors. Mm -hmm. So they're, like, this natural material, and they have, like, little front walks, and there's, like, rows and rows on them, and they're kind of, like, in a little maze. Huh. So you're kind of moving through, like, a super easy to navigate, but maze of them. So it's a nice little kind of, like, neighborhood, and it's all walkable kind of area. Nice. Right. And just right. kind of wandering through there. And people will, when people walk by, and there's actually, you you get here and there's just people. And there's these little stores, mm -hmm. like little, like, like little stores. They're like a terracotta house, except they're kind of painted and they have like pink and blue on them. And they're selling some sort of dessert. Like, mm -hmm. if it was any other world, it might be like ice cream, but it looks like the little, remember those cactuses you saw? Something similar to that. They use hmm. those, so they have no spikes or anything, and they're, like, around some sort of pudding, maybe, like, a rice saffron -y pudding or whatever, like the rice you saw earlier. Oh. Um, all right. So and the and they look cold, and people are, like, going up and eating them and wandering around. And whenever people see you, they're kind of nodding at you and say something which is, greetings, librarian. They're like, greetings, librarian. Greetings, you know. Greetings, greetings librarian. Greetings, greetings back. Greetings, yeah, greetings. because greetings. that's greetings, greetings. Stormtrooper, stormtrooper. <laughs> stormtrooper, <laughs> stormtrooper. Ah! <laughs> Craig just nods. Hmm. Yeah, they're babbling at you in this language that you've you've heard. <laughs> I mean, if, if you want to roll learned. again on trying to understand it, now that you're actually hearing it, I mean, no, he, got, he got two. He got, he got Something two. Something bad will happen. Something bad will happen. Yeah. Something bad. So you get two six. You get two advantage. Yeah. Look, man, he's got a no. Yeah, it's it's three v two, right? Or 
it's or whatever your what? it's whatever your, your culture linguistics and is. I said the difficulty advantages. before was five because you guys had figured a lot more about it. So okay, so three by five. I finally know how to conjugate. Mm. And all twelve tenses. Oh, what success! <laughs> okay, so you're understanding what they say, but you it's still you're not like. You're going to understand pretty much until you get to where you're going and things get more complex. So you're basically understanding as you head through this. So you're in this this area. Are you, are you guys going through the market? I think we had to to get to the skin plant. Yeah, you kind of do. You cut through the edge of it. Um, there's the day market and the night market. Um, well, if it's the day, then it would stand to reason night markets would be less crowded. Yeah, the night market might be closed. You don't know. Oh, but you can, can check look, it out. Can we look on the on our our Vuvu to see if it is closed? Uh, sure. yeah, you could hey, research tasks try to figure that out. Hey Vuvu, is the market closed? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Google, man. <laughs> like, okay, okay, yeah, I guess that is a pretty simple task. That is a simple <laughs> task. Uh, yes, it is closed. Today. It is okay. closed during the day. Uh, it's closed. People closed can like... cl people do come and go like. But it's not open for the public. Okay. So we couldn't just, like, use it and as an you, access way. you get a lot of... I don't want to call it lewd material, but... Yeah, lewd material. So when you light? look up the night market, you get... Um, of course. Several oh. businesses... Stops, telling you about exciting times that can be had, and... Right. How uh, the the blue bean? Blue bean. They, how they specialize in the blue bean? Mm. All right, that's and some that aphrodisiac sort of or something, probably. Probably. Man, gotta be serious in this heavy gravity. Oof. Oof. Anyway, we have this one cantina that <laughs> plays that this one mind. song over and over again. Gotcha. Yeah. When you melt the blue bean. Melt the blue bean. Melt the blue bean. Yep, that's mm -hmm. what they, they call it. Milking the blue bean. You know, Ooh, you know. Interesting <laughs> euphemism. <laughs> I don't this know is, about this. Is how this we're ain't no bean right here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but the the question okay. there then is, it's like, can it be used as an access way? Or is it like, it's well, you, you can use it as an access topic. way, but if you're not supposed to be there, someone could stop you. But you don't know about the legalities of it. You don't know if it's just illegal or if just they would just assume that your librarian's going to do some accounting or tech services oh. there or something. So yeah. yeah. Since we are like authorities, we probably shouldn't be in any kind of red light district. That probably be bad thing. Yeah. So I think that's where you find most of them, right? <laughs> Yeah, but people might come up to us and but say, "Oh, it's again. <laughs> and then also inquisitors might be there. That'd be bad. Undercover yeah, well, day market, visitor. day market. Let's go. Day market, edge of the day market. What okay, so you walk towards the day market, and uh, you can tell the day market is very, very full of people. There's like a ton of people there. They're all uh, there's like just it's like a big market full of like stalls and stuff. So there's like these sandstone and saffron silk stalls. So you have these like sandstone like backdrops and sides and then they have these curtains that cover everything up it's a uh, not dissimilar to that on colony that you saw mm. body remember okay. when you were on that colony and they had those so oh. curtains mm. everywhere yeah I in the remember. stalls okay. so it and looks a totally lot like that, that. this is like super like that and there's like people everywhere they're carrying like these uh long baskets yeah. That some of them carry over their shoulders and they bend and they have these like, weird caps on them and they use huh. them to put groceries in. Strange. Or bodies, maybe? <laughs> they're, they're not wide enough for most uh, bodies. Maybe a so, set dox. Is, is, uh, is it so familiar that uh, I think that they may be related be. somehow? Or the cultures? It is similar to you. I you could, could roll on that if you want. You're the only one who's seen it, so. Sure, yeah. why not? I don't think these two have been to that particular city oh, I am. would that be insight so go ahead, definitely he doesn't sends die. us the scans not insight it would uh, be uh anthropology or yeah probably anthropology how oh, was the threat 
uh, it's something you saw and you're just trying to see how similar it is culturally to stuff. Yeah. Three. I only got two. Yeah. I mean, boy, I still oh could. Boy. You I'm could really use one of your social, your one of your associations. Uh, Hostos um, Beretta, I believe, was appropriate because that's who belonged the city to before. I'll just, I'll take my chances. Take a chance. Let me just go. Uh. And this is part of the investigation now. This sort of thing. Oh. So. All right. Three, three, you say, or two, three? three, three. Let me double check. I because it's the investigation. Investigations all have the well, same. Well, it already happened. <laughs> Uh, negative one success. That could have been worse, I guess. Could have been. I, oh, hey, yeah, let's I look. suppose. About as bad, I guess. Yeah, three was correct. Yeah, so you get negative one. Um, that does one milestone. And I'll put something in here. Oh, boy. So, um, this is a lot like that. Mm-hmm. You're pretty sure. Like, it's weird. Mm -hmm. It's like Hostess Beretta yeah. put a market here. Yeah, that's strange. Like the same place. But that's all you really get. You just kind of get that one little milestone. Yeah. And uh, as you <laughs> as you walk by, um, uh, you, you have this... Uh, these two men. Uh, one is uh, a... Uh, a a lattice and the other is an onok they walk up to you so men is probably the wrong term uh these these two individuals walk up to you and they're dressed in gray outfits with oh, this boy. black leather belts and uh, they have some sort of um archaic weapon of some sort at their at their uh wrist and they're carrying uh batons as well and they walk Great. up to you and and they look at you and go, excuse me, who are you? And they put out their hand. I, I, I do the hand thing that I, like I saw in the bit. Okay. So it's, it's basically you shake hands with them and they access right. your card. Um, so what is your name? What name did you find for these guys there, Brock? What were the well, names of the three librarians that you found? Oh boy. Well, what's what's segment sound like? It like a segment of sound like as a language then? Um, that that would that would determine what kind of names I got. I mean, Craig is still Craig, obviously. <laughs> no. Hmm. With, with a C, it's entirely different. I thought we got existing people. They were like they were like actual yeah, yeah. He, I'm just letting him make it up instead of me making it. Up. Okay. Yeah. I, I maybe spoof um, it a little bit, change the names a little. Yeah. So one of the things you've realized, you've been talking Sekma for a bit, is mm -hmm. it is, it either, somehow it seems like it has a lot of Rigelian borrow words. Okay. Which are real weird. That, I don't know. Which is one helps. of the reasons after you learned it, I dropped the difficulty so much, is because it's got a ton of Rigelian borrow words in it. Um, I don't know if Sequoia knows Rigelian. So... Yeah, that's why it took you till now to kind of go, hey, just a second. Okay. <laughs> Do you know Rigelian? Is it on your list? Nope. Inner chat, Hindi, Arbalist, Mandarin, and now Yes. Yeah, so the, th uh, the, that's the thing about it is, uh, Rigelian is a sectorial language from the prevalent language interchat. So you kind of had to make the reference via Interchat because Interchat has some Rigelian forwards in it as well. Okay. And is kind of the master language of this quadrant of Orion, which is right. where you all live and have all your right, right. adventures. Anyways, so it has some more than you would suspect borrowers from Rigelian considering the fact that um, it's an alien language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So you're just like, hey, just a second. These words I'm speaking are like this. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm forgetting the original point I was making. Uh, what oh, the names. names. Like. Yes. Yeah, names. So a lot of the names are... Um, Ted, Bob, and Dave. 
They're they're two syllable names with lots of like they often have double eyes at the end. Uh, I think a little bit Latin with a little bit very Latin. Okay, a little bit Latin, a little bit like like East Indian or Hindi or something. Adi could actually be a name if it had two eyes. Yeah, it'd be Adi or something like that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so you did so, make these up though. So, what names did no. you find of the uh, correct species let's see. for yourself? I'm trying to for myself. Okay. For, uh, for each of you. For each of them. All right. They're all gonna be in this in in Sekma, so it's gonna yeah. be like things like uh, like probably like uh, like Orma, and then I'll just like throw names in Orma. You people can you guys can take them if you want like. Uh, Tengi and um, let's see, uh, Playo. Okay. So I'll be Playo. Cool. Playo and Tengi Esquire, excellent <laughs> adventures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guess I go Craig. Tengi. All right, I'll be Orma then. There we go. Okay, so he looks at you, sticks out his hand, and asks who you are. Uh, to me? Yeah. I, I, I say I am librarian player. I shake his hand. He, he looks at it. You see him do that distracted thing, because he's mm-hmm. obviously on there. Yeah. View you. The cops yeah. seem to have pans. Mm. Um... Or like kind of crappy ver. They they have the pan, but it's not a full link or anything. They just have a device for this sort of thing, yeah. separate from their communication unit. Yeah. Um, they, they know somebody hacked them, and there's yeah, and he, that also is a thing. He looks around and goes, uh, "According to this, you are a Shit. sick home with Shit. the Gendo flu. What is going on, Librarian Pilo?" Well, I, I happen to feel just a tad better. So, Oh, you mean like right now? It says I'm there. Oh, right now. Right now. Right now. I must have forgot to log out. What? <laughs> I, I didn't get that. Did anybody else get that? Did, Sorry, I'm confused. We, did we forget to like that there are these people are going to register other places at the same time as us? No, no. Yeah, he just says right. right. They don't. They don't have that level of surveillance. Don't worry about that. Okay. You never found okay. evidence of that. He's okay. just like, according to the records, you called into the spire of memory with sick. This right. No, I did. Condition. I felt a bit better, and I thought I'd stroll outside in the fresh air. Might help. Uh, but I still do not feel very well. God damn it! I don't speak the language. No, don't, don't say anything. <laughs> no, you do for us. this trip. Remember, you currently are speaking the language. Oh, you have conversation. Oh, uh, when he hears the, uh, you figured it out enough blue. to kind of speak it, but you're gonna get confused if they get really complex or if you go like, if you go to sleep or like, you go somewhere else. It's you're gonna just kind of lose it. I don't know if you've ever when, spoken it, but you kind of got you got the jog of it right now. But then it's, it's gonna get out of get out of control after that. Go, so Greg. basically, he hears about the flu and he uh, sends a pan to Sequoia saying, "What's this flu?" I don't know. What is this flu? Yeah, the, the, he wants you to research it. Oh yeah, I'm I'm down. I'll 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 look for it right now because they're looking at. I am the short person that they're not looking at because I am not. <laughs> yes. So I'm gonna do the distracted thing. So let's do some research. Okay. All right. I it. have no, I have no charge. So this is gonna be a fun time. What's what? No advantages I'm expecting, except I do have the name of this, which I don't know. Yeah. I think we we'll call it. Did I just call it Jolin? Jolin Flu? Yeah. Just Web and D it. Yeah. Go ahead. Research uh, two. Two difficulty. Two difficulty. All right, here we go. Two successes. Okay. Uh, there is a flu going around from... Uh, they, they say it has to do with uh, uh, runoff water and pollution of some sort. And huh. it's kind of virulent. 
Ooh. Hmm. And um, virulent means that you probably shouldn't be out in a boat walking if you had this hmm. flu because that you're going to make everyone sick, which is probably why he came up to you and started bugging you, because you're supposed to be oh. home with a virulent disease that you're isolating away from everyone else. Oh, I forgot my mask. I have it right here. Yeah. <laughs> do the, do the, the, the East Asia, like, you know, mask? I was... The, it, uh, is, there, is there a cure for it? Are they... Is there just time? Do you get better, or... Um, That's just also thing. I can tell well, my... Craig. Head. Craig? Craig? Yeah. Craig being very good at uh, um, this particular uh, type of thing says tell him you were feeling better that it wasn't the flu yeah I do so I feel so like you're I going feel, back to work I feel better I want to get back to work um, I don't think yeah, and I said I, of course like you you guys know all about this hey mm -hmm. this thing <laughs> I'm not even sure if it was the flu in, in the first place. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so I need you to you to lie okay. to this dude. Alrighty. I Do shall. It. That is performance, right? Yeah, difficulty four. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, He's a freaking inquisitor. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to burn yeah, lie, in, lie into the cops, man. Lie into it, the cops. It's, it's a good lie, though. It is a good lie. Like... I was feeling the symptoms, but it may not have been the sickness. Okay, difficulty three. Because okay. there's not a character, there's only two of them. Hmm. Oh, uh, man. That's rough. See, I, that's rough. here's the silver platter. I'm offering it to you, and you spit on it, man. That's rough. Spit on I mean, it. He rough. That's all I had, though. I'm sorry. That's, I, that's as good as I could have done. I tried. It's fine. You did your best. Mm -hmm. None of us would have been particularly good at it. I have three dice, and that's it for that, so... <laughs> yeah, we're missing the guy that's good at this. Yeah. Yeah, so. well... Okay, cool. So he looks at you, and he goes... Okay. You and your friends come with us. Where are we going? We're taking you to Skin Planet the hospital there to the hospital uh, ward all right it's this is unnecessary this is completely unnecessary thank you for your concerns you'll be in the isolation ward uh i believe three days should be enough uh, all three of you you've been together Thanks. please put these on and they pass you these masks okay i put on the mask and I go with them it just like, be like i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find a way. Wait, to... wait, hold on, hold on. You didn't. You, 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 I'll look at you. Look up at you. You're like, you didn't tell us you had the flu. What's wrong? I I put oh, out man. on the inner chat thing that look, we don't want to cause any kind of scene here. They were just That's true. bad. That's... Let's try our best bet is to escape, yes. rather than cause a fighting scene. <laughs> and, and like in the inner chat, in like the like text thing, I'm like, all right, I'm just going along with this. I'm still still like making. For the Inquisitors, not for like the rest of the crowd. Yeah. While we're walking. So okay. I, so they kind of motion to be in in like uh, accordance with with yes you 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 are you know you have reason you're right you're wiser than I I will come with you kind of thing. Okay, so uh, two more uh, Inquisitors join you, and oh the four of them yeah. escort you towards. Where you're going anyway, so that's, that's appropriate. And uh, so you start to see these tall spires ahead of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see that... Uh, and you, you leave the marketplace. And they, they're they taking you down. Like, it's like They leave the marketplace really quickly. Like They know exactly where they're going. <laughs> and they take you down this alley. And you see the spires up ahead. Uh, and you're basically walking down an alley with four four guys in between some buildings and they're like this way you will not get anyone sick oh well, thank you of course and so there, it's pretty much you of... guys at the bottom of this alley as you enter uh kind of this this kind of zone around uh -huh. the uh spires mm. around the skin plant like these smaller buildings mm -hmm. and uh are you are just going alone? with them 
you're kind of alone. There, there's, there's these other buildings that you're coming closer to where other people probably inside these buildings. You don't really see anybody. There's nobody else in this alley. Take me your Uh, well, we uh, we got a choice. We could try to make a. We Break could try forward. to. Uh, it's gonna be that. It'd just be. That would be get, cat get, out of bag. More, get more in trouble with the authorities. Well, I don't want to kill anybody. That's for sure. Um, Same. That'll just cause an incident that we won't be able to get out of. Probably. Yeah. Well, it will basically just. Our infiltration of the city will be null and void until yeah. we get new identity. Until we would have gotten new identity. Right. Um, Which takes time and. Resources. Seems like. If if we're if we're gonna be in a, a more alone, I call there's a lot of them though. There's but four. There's three. four. Yeah. We have space no. tech. No. And they got weapons too that we don't know how work. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, they have archaic weapons. Like we just have like super advanced weaponry. The issue is that it would have... be taking them down and no one noticing. Yeah, but they're gonna eventually wake up and exactly, they're, or they're gonna be missing or whatever, you know. Yeah. Last scene with. Like, so they have. Are you guys pants. going to the medical bay in the spire or not? Uh, yeah. If yeah. anything, they'll just see us mm -hmm. and see that we're not sick, right? I mean, we we can break out. If they do medical yes. tests, they will likely know you're not from here. That's true. Because you've seen no anagas on this planet whatsoever. Mm hmm. Do the, mm. Maybe we should just come clean. <laughs> so they're like, they looking at you, hey seeing guys, these young guys. Mm. I'm just saying, if they do, you don't want them to do medical tests on you. You know that. Right. right That's like yeah. free space or one on one on alien planet. Don't let them do medical right. tests on you. Right, right. <laughs> don't let them probe you. So that tends to be the thing one on most sort of. Yeah. I, I, I never let anyone do medical tests on you. I missed the part. Do we have our all of our equipment? Yeah, you have equipment? your whole crew kit. Part of your disguise yeah, is to cover that up so it looks just like yeah. local gear. Yeah, and they'll definitely see that when we take when we get nude to take a test, right? Well, yeah, yeah, they'll be like, oh, instead of your your jacket going over there, the bulge that we can now see because you're yeah. wearing these weird half coats that are from top to bottom that covers your shield unit. That'd be pretty obvious, and you're yeah. on your back or depending on your species. For others, you know, your reactor yeah. might look like something weird, and right. your multi tools, the okay. fucking gun. Here's what I think: better three librarians on the run that are sick than three aliens on the yes. run threatening. I think. Yeah, I agree. Especially for this, like, isolationist empire. Definitely yeah. three librarians than three So are you running? Um, uh, what are you doing? I wonder how we could how easily could we knock them out. Knocking what? people out quick, like quick real question. life isn't something you can just do Not, very well, do, we, do we have any tech that could do it? Just you like can that. biotech them, but there's like four of them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. quick You're going to end up in combat. What is a thing that they consider to be like very taboo? Ooh. Ah, uh, you don't know. You'd have to look that up. Research, <laughs> Mr. Belvedere. All right, let's let's research it up. I you don't necessarily know if they have anything particular that's taboo. I mean, not very many your societies have things so taboo that would look. I'm away. going to pretend to be sick. And, I mean, like, I can't walk anymore. How about that? Ooh. All so right. Buy us some time, maybe. And, and then they'll drag you. All right. And then they'll no. Then they'll uh, call more in, and then uh, they'll get a uh, uh, a unit to. Uh, so as you guys have basically... this data flow comms conversation, you guys are like walking there, slow. And, you know, it's taking some time. Uh, they obviously think you're sick, because everyone else is used to the high gravity. You guys are like. Yeah. Sweating and stuff. Yeah. And um, when you looked it up, your 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 grav, some of your your extra exertion from walking this side and all the sweat and stuff is one of the symptoms. Okay. They haven't oh. noticed. There's no blue dots, or it's kind of like a blue ridge that happens from Jack Ma. Uh -huh. But bean? you haven't. They haven't really noticed. He doesn't have the blue like kind of like trim uh -huh. on his uh -huh. body at all. It's different on different species, but humans would get a, like a, a blue edging that you'd see from the side. Gross. Mm. 
It's kind of cyan. Kind of looks uh, weird. Well, aren't they scared that they're going to get... What if I sneeze on them or something? Will they... <laughs> we have to wear your mask on now. So. I know, but what if I drop to the ground and it falls off, and then I, I get up and I'm like, ah! and it sneeze all over them. You can try it if you want. I'm going to... You realize that this would be a performance test. Right? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just, hey, that spit is not part of my... That's real shit right there. It's still performance. It's still yeah. quite a performance if you can pull it off. I can't. You, who's good at performance? Nobody here. I have a three in performance. You should do it. I should do it. Fall to the ground. My. Does anybody else get a just, better idea? It's time I running mean, out here. You could probably yeah. run. I was pro I was thinking that like run and stealth could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's. All right. But, I mean, you could just break for it. There are four of yeah. them, but that, that, that you're like weaving through you know, alleys and about stuff. Yeah. Look I'm away. pretty good yeah, at parkour. That's, that's fair. Yeah. So if someone's away. good at lying, you could distract them from everyone else. You could just run. What's you. that right there? Go yeah. on. I I mean I could try distracting. You guys could make a. Cause I'm small, so I can probably get a. Of course, I move away from parkour for analysis. Of course, I do it. No, we won't be running on rooftops ever. Not this one. <laughs> Why does this always happen? Asked you very specifically. <laughs> I didn't yeah. think this was. I didn't think we would get you know apprehended by the cops. Yeah, that never happens, Daniel. It's a karma, please. Luckily, yeah. I have climber and fast that I can't use. I have jumper you know, and agile. So hopefully. somebody needed all my charges. Sorry. Do we want to uh, call? The session there with you guys captured by the cops and on the way there, and you guys can decide that's next week. It is nine thirty. Yeah, because yeah, if we get yeah, into, it, gonna like, into yeah, it, it's going to be like we're into it. It's going to be in depth, and that would be totally hacking the system because you can get charged for next week. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so we charged. see you dragging there, and you guys are having this conversation, and you're really confused, and you're going down through these alleys, and you see maybe that's a chance to break off. You don't know, it's and then we just fade point. out. And uh, <laughs> thanks for playing. And we'll see if the captain comes and ruins everything by flying a ship over here and getting nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, He's going to fly to us. It's fine. <laughs> He'll jump out of the launch. It'll be great. He might save us. <laughs> okay. So, uh, just start blasting thank fun. you. Was fun. Okay. Yeah. See you guys next yeah. week. See you guys later. Hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima.